Hi, my name is George and I'm one of the consultants here at Happy Skin. Now, I'd like to tell you about how to get the best out of your Happy Skin investment. It's, uh, it's the most common question I get asked during, during Happy Skin consultations. So listen in, get your pen and paper ready and take some notes because this is how to treat your baby's flare up in the fastest possible way. Now, let me just explain to you how the skin works and then we, we can go from there. Skin is the body's largest organ and one of its primary functions is to keep us at the right temperature. And skin does that by releasing moisture when we're too hot, in other words, sweating, or retaining moisture when we're too cold. We get those goosebumps because the skin has shrunk. The skin does that because we have some, some sensors just below the top surface of our skin. The sensors are called subdermal receptors, but their job is to monitor the outside environment and tell the skin what to do when it's too hot, i.e. let's sweat, or we're too cold, shrink and keep moisture in. In areas where skin is damaged by eczema, these sensors actually switch off. They switch off because they think, I haven't got healthy skin to send a signal to, therefore I'm going to switch off until the skin is better. Now the first sign that you'll know that these sensors have switched off is that the skin becomes dry and scaly. Then it starts to become very itchy and your baby will start to scratch those areas, damaging them, causing crevices and then trapping bacteria in those areas of damaged skin. And at that point you'll see that the skin has become red and inflamed. If you've been to the GP, which every single one of you have normally several times, you'd have been given different paraffin based creams. They're called barrier creams simply because they're designed to create a waterproof barrier over your baby's skin. In our mind these creams are preventing the skin from doing one of its jobs which is to release moisture when it needs to because all of the creams are very effective at creating that waterproof barrier over your baby's skin. So you might have noticed for instance at night when your baby goes to sleep eczema is bad but in the morning it's really bad. And the reason for that is you've applied the cream on. Uh, a baby with eczema will have an increased body temperature, more so than a baby without. When the baby's skin is trying to release moisture in healthy areas where it's still producing sweat, the sweat is trapped between the barrier cream and the skin. And when, that, when the healthy skin is next to the damaged skin, which, which, which it will be, the sweat starts to seep in to those areas of damaged skin. Now, sweat contains urea, salt, and ammonia. These are three aggressive chemicals in their own right. So when those chemicals, albeit they're in, they're, they're in very tiny doses in sweat, when, when that combination of chemicals starts to seep into the damaged, cracked areas, they um, irritate already sensitized skin. And that's why you see that your baby's skin is more red and inflamed after being too hot and trying to cool down. So what do we suggest? The first thing we say is you've got to get rid of all of that paraffin from your baby's skin pores. Your, your, your baby's skin pores are completely blocked because of that paraffin cream. It's a bit like you guys wearing makeup day after day and never taking any off but putting, putting more on every morning. Guess what, after a week, your skin's gonna break out in spots. So think about what's happening to a baby's skin when, when you're putting layer upon layer of barrier cream. That's what we're faced with. So get yourselves a, a body wash, a sensitive skin body wash, suitable for baby's skin, and start to gently wash that paraffin away. Never put the bar time lotion or the bedtime lotion or whatever skin wash you've bought, never put it directly on the skin, dilute it in warm water, put the baby in the bath and just wash the paraffin away using a flannel or a sponge. Now that's going to take at least three to four, maybe even five washes to, to do successfully. You'll need to repeat the process, as I said, three to four times, maybe five times, until the baby's skin is clean and clear from paraffin. Why do we need to do that? As I said, we need the moisture to be traveling through those pores easily and quickly without being blocked. The second reason that we need the skin, skin pores clear and the skin grease free is that the happy skin garments that you've bought are coated with a special technology that is designed to interact with the skin. Now if you looked at the coating under a microscope you'll see that it has a cross section that mimics the top layer of our skin. 
Now if you've purchased the right size for your baby and the fabric is sitting on your baby's skin, so a snug fit, not a tight fit, the coating itself will be touching your baby's skin. Now why is that important? Do you remember the sensors that I said switch off? Those sensors can pick up on the coating and they think they've got healthy skin again. So they start to send a signal. They start to manage moisture. The moment that that process is triggered again, skin starts to behave healthily again. And that's the cause of eczema. So Happy Skin actually deals with the cause of eczema as opposed to the creams, which just deal with the symptoms. In other words, the dry, the scaly, the infected skin. So once your happy skin coating has triggered the sensors to do their job again, the baby's skin starts its road to recovery. Now that process can take from 48 to 72 hours, right through to two and a half to three weeks. The reason for that is how, how effectively have you cleaned your baby's pores? If you've done a great job and they weren't very blocked, you'll start to see a response quickly. If they're still very blocked, it's gonna take some time. The length of time, as I said, is all dependent on how, how clear you've managed to get your baby skin pores. Now, which, which cream should we use? Definitely paraffin free creams, uh, free from oils, free from butter, free from, from, from products, even, even though they might be natural, some of the natural oils that, that you see in, in some creams are also going to block your baby's skin pores. So we have a couple of recommendations. We've tested as many as we can get hold of, and there's only two that, that we know of that will actually not block your baby's skin pores and they absorb into the skin without leaving that greasy layer, which is important. You should use those creams after every bath because every time you bathe the baby, you're gonna dry out the baby's skin a fraction. So definitely use the cream after the bath and use it whenever you see that your baby's skin is, is, is starting to dry. Use them in moderation, little and often, rather than flooding your baby's skin in once or twice a day because we're kind of back to square one. Steroid creams, a lot of you do not like using steroid creams and rightly so, but a steroid cream actually has a, has, has a purpose and the purpose is to fight infected skin. If your baby's skin is red and inflamed, you should use the steroid cream. You should use it for no more than two or three days. Forget what the GP says, a week, two weeks, not necessary if you're using a steroid cream as part of your happy skin process. So use the steroid cream as if it's cost you a thousand pounds and it needs to last forever. Only use it in the areas of, in of infection and then put it back in the bathroom cupboard and let happy skin do its job. And that guys is how to treat eczema and get the best out of your, out of your happy skin investment. I hope that was useful.